Yo, what up everybody? This is Sly the Butler. Welcome back to the channel today, and we will be talking about the new topic of the people, King Kong versus Godzilla movie. They are both iconic creatures that are badass as shit, and well, they are also popular as shit, which is why this movie is being made, which is why this movie is being made. I feel like it's really nice because it's bringing people together. The amount of posts I see on Instagram about this is insane. This movie, without a doubt, will be awesome as fuck. Let's get straight to the point of the matter. Who will win this battle? King Kong or Godzilla? Well, there really is no telling who will win this. Just of watching the movies. I've done a bit of research and so far I've come up with a pretty controversial opinion on the matter. Let's put away the Godzilla scenario and think about who would win in a life or death battle. Godzilla or King Kong? Well, who I would think would kill the other and survive, that will be, um, <laughs> I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my ass whooped for this, bro. King Kong. My point to back it up will be the longer arms, more intelligence, and more, mo more, oh my god, and more mobility, and more strength. Yes, Godzilla is huge as shit, but King Kong has grown extremely since Skull Island. They are about the same size, and Godzilla and King Kong can run about the same speed, and they are around the same strength. But knowledge-wise, I know the Batman vs. Super Superman movie was shit, but be uh, be realistic. Batman is 100% smarter than Superman, alright? Like, goddamn, bro. We, we know this. That's why we, uh, that's why he would win. I'm not gonna get too into that, but it's the same thing with Kong. He is smart, he can craft his own weapons, and from the trailer, he's using one of Godzilla's spikes on it, like, as a blade on an axe looking contraption, kinda, which in the movie could withstand the atomic breath. Um, which is absolutely insane, and don't get me started on mobility. The things Khan needs to worry about is one water. Godzilla will tear that Khan ass up if he will, if he catches him near water, bro. Like that's just that's just a fact. Like I'm sure we all know that, but land, it's a different story. My theory is Khan will leap from building to building. I know Godzilla can run fast, but it's only forward. Like he has no way of changing directions. It takes him. A good amount of time to change direction. You know what I'm saying? Um, Khan will be able to do that instantly. If Khan just dodges the tail, the tail whip, which is fucking deadly, it, it can be deadly, and gets a good headshot on that lizard ass, he's in there. But let's not forget, Godzilla's OP, last resort. Um, I don't really know what it's called, but... um. It's like the little uh, nuke explosion he can do, but Khan is simply so durable, he will be extremely damaged, but so will Godzilla. So after that occurs, Khan will go for Godzilla when he's at his weakest point, slow and tired, and kill him. Okay, so that wrap, wraps it up for this video. I know, I, I know I'm going to have a lot of people up my ass about this. But remember, we all got our own opinions. Yes, I know I probably missed some information out there on the internet that I could have seen that will probably have swayed my decisions about who would have won and maybe some of my points. But I would gladly talk to you guys in the comments about it. Um. Well, um, that, that concludes of this video. I wish you all a good day. See you all in the next video. Yeah, I sing here in silence to lay beside you